agricultural properties of Nepal and started to export illegally. Many travels who visited in the medieval period said to have taken valuable cultural properties without any hindrance. However, we don't know how they taken and what process followed by them for the same from 1950 onwards. Nepal was open for the outer world. This incident helped to start movement of foreign people. In the decade of 1960s, tourism was developed as a major industry of Nepal. Development of culture played a vital role for the illegal export of cultural properties from Nepal. Interestingly, the decade of 1960s to 1990s has been a dark period for the illegal export of cultural properties from Nepal. Many cultural properties have been stolen and exported different parts of the world. The cultural property which were stolen during that period are now in the museum and private collections of America, France, Italy, Germany, UK, and other countries around the world. In the recent year, the concept of return the cultural properties in its original place has been developed worldwide. This concept of people and UNESCO Convention of 1970 helped to return some important cultural properties which were exported illegally from Nepal in the past. So far, 19 from United Kingdom, 1 from Austria, 17 from USA, 28 from Tibet, 14 from India, and one important cultural property from Germany have been returned. Today, five important images of historical importance have been returned from the Art Institute of Chicago of USA, which are very significant and describe the art history of Nepal of various periods. This image were stolen from the different part of the Kathmandu Valley and exported to USA in the past. Some important cultural properties were also returned from USA in the past, past as well. Such kind of activities are helping to build a good cultural relationship between USA and Nepal. I hope the cultural property which are deposited in the museum and the private collection in USA will return soon with the effort of both countries. This is the effort of the people and organization of both nations. Therefore, I would like to thank the government of USA and the friend DCM, USMDC to Nepal.